Hello guys, today we are going to take a look how to create the portal effect. For creating the portal effect, first we can take Taurus as you can see. I am transferring this Taurus like this. Let me turn on my remote. Yes. After that we remesh this Taurus like this. Now for creating the velocity so that the smoke will move inside this like along the uh, object. So what we can do is we will create, we will co take this copy of the Taurus like this and instead of connectivity instead of quadrilaterals we will select columns this will give this round circles as you can see after that we will open the ends of the circle we will select open here so that they will remove the polygon that inside the polygon after that there are a lot of as you can see they are not connected with each other that what we can do is we will take the fuse node will connect this out like this after that we will smooth this out by doing the sample 0.03 after that what we can do is now we want the glosses to move along the curve so for that we will take polyfilm node and instead of normal name we will change tangent to n and this will look like this weight As you can see, the file it will move along the curve. As you can see, normals. Yes, and we transfer that normals into velocity. Convert that normals into velocity. And this will look like this. Simple. If I show the relatives now, you can see the velocities are moving along the curve. After that, what we can do is we will transfer that velocity to the upcoming torus. So, if I see, this will look like this. Losses are moving along the torus. After that, what we can do is we will take the mountain now to disturb the scene. So, it will move like this. In this what we can do is we will animate the height a little bit and for the beginning it will look like this and after that it will look like this so I give a little bit of animation and after that what we can do is we will create noise on the basis of position and give noise a random color like black and white after that what we can do is we will take a transform node and scale it down to up like this we will animate this like like this so just like this after that so after that what we can do is we will take the pop network inside pop network what we can do is we will inside the source we will set up on surface and emission attribute to CD. The CD attribute is the attribute that created right up here. This one. And as you can see from this CD, where is a white spot, the particles are emitted from this white spot. And where there is black spot, the particles are not emitted. So we select CD attribute right over here. After that, what we can do is we will to animate this some part some parameters like uh, this one this one this one and this one so the result will look like this wait I also as you can see the particles are revolving around the teeth. And this simulation will look like this. Nice revolving around the tube and going backwards. As you can see. We want like this. For that we add drag little drag to it in the particles. If I see I add little force in the little downward direction and little backward direction. 
and give little amplitude and it is less. Next, we'll do the blow. They will move the points after certain 
when the value is when the random id value is larger than this value they will move points after that what we can do is we will create another if statement and by attribute and attribute name to it after that what we can do we will take the sample load to add some points 